Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're doing Glendronic Portwood, baby. That's it's right. Portwood. We haven't had it. We're gonna. Ooh, test it! Little port wine finish, baby. Boom. <laughs> Almost dropped out there for a second there. I almost didn't get, didn't get the T on there. I love uh, Glendronic is is one of my favorite distilleries. Yes, we can like say that. Too. I'll say that. Yep. We've had Glendronic cask strength yes. 12, 15, 18, 21. I like, I like the way you count. <laughs> it took Glendronic didn't show up to Kansas until just a couple years ago. And then we saw the 12 and the 15, mm -hmm. or no, 12 and the 18, and a little bit of the 21. We never saw the 15, the Revival. Now, the only one you can find around is the 12. And this one just, just showed up. I like Port that it showed up. 46% ABV. Nice. I'm, I heard you. 46% ABV, you said. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Glendronic, for the most part, um, I like it. natural color. Yep, natural cask, imparting color. Good. Yeah. Okay, natural cask, imparting color. We do Port have Walker. now, of course, Glendronic. Uh, used to be uh, Billy Walker was the master yes. distiller. Rachel Berry came in, and okay. this should be, if it says, Rachel Berry product. I don't see... It on here, but should be because he's Billy Walker's been gone now for well. So this will actually be the first Rachel Berry Glendronic we've reviewed as well. Got it. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Unfortunately, non-age statement. I would like to see a twelve or a fifteen-year age statement on this. You're gonna like the nose, though. I haven't I got it. I'm trying to bring you along, baby. <laughs> I almost said about eighteen <laughs> things, and I thought, well, I'm old. Well, Ooh, yeah. yeah. See, I knew it. You may want that age statement on there, but the nose is going to be pleasant. Well, yeah, I'm just saying. Sure, we would all like it. Yep, we've got Glendronic, we've got Portwood finished, we got 46% and no age. Oh, yeah. Most distillers, I think, want it on there. Sometimes it's the marketers that don't. I say put it on there, all the info. So I get a that very nice wine uh, berry nose is what I'm getting there. Jumps right out of the glass, and there's almost a little sherry sulfur yes, on it, which I that. like. Yep, I get so, a little bit of that sulfurness as well. A little savory, a little, yep. little funky. Yep. It's funky. It's like not quite funky. It's like this sweet. It's like it's going to go funky, and then boop, sweet, sweet, a little sweet. Almost saw a turn. I'm, I'm blind. I may okay. think saw turns. I can see if you said that. I've had a couple of saw turns that will kind of get this, this little bit of that funky note which is good it's like mm. a funky yeah. basement funky cheese almost. almost it's almost but then it goes all berry funky nuttiness it goes all mixed berry on yep. you oh yeah it is nice make me go mixed berry on you and a, a, you know a great color as well for natural color non-age statement mm. 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 yeah i know it's interesting it makes us both mm. make that same mm. i need to go back in though mm. i got a Wow. It's a bursting. It yeah. was like a bursting, but I have to go back. Okay. Portwood finish. I expected lighter porter in porter. Lighter port influence. It's pretty heavy. I mean, it's more there's more port influence here than I had thought there would be. Mm -hmm. It's up front. It's nice. It's beautiful. It, you know, a lot of the Glendronic uh are exclusively matured in Oloroso or Pedro Jimenez casks. And I'm getting a lot well, of caramels. Here. It has, Sweet caramels. I had thought it was portwood finish. It just says portwood. This could be maybe this is exclusively matured really? in portwood. I don't know. Let's see okay. if we I'll let you look at that. So it's weird. I'm still need to kind of nail down the open, but right after the that that first sip and the first swallow, this like effervescent explosion comes through with a little bit of berry, but then I get a lot of sweet caramel going on. Um, it's like it, at first, when I took the sip before the swallow, it was, 
it was just like a touch of sweetness in there and then an explosion going on. That's what made us both go, ooh. So on the front, it does say enriched by a second maturation in the finest port pipes from the Douro Valley in Portugal. Mm. So a second maturation. A maturation is longer than a finish. A finish is shorter, usually two, two and a half years or less. Maturation may carry further. Really? So we've got a port maturation here, a little bit longer, wow. I'm going to assume. Your skills are getting better there, Jedi. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to pick out the difference between the finish and the maturation. Yeah. So when so, I held this one, I could get the berries and the, the, the red berries, maybe a touch of blueberry. And then mm -hmm. uh, upon the swallow, it just goes and it sweetens up, leaving a lingering berry flavor. But it becomes subtle and moves into the back and the sweetness carries forward. And then I got touches of oak, but it's a very light oak. And then I get a sweeter, almost caramel, which doesn't mm -hmm. seem to make sense. I need to, I'm not used to getting a caramel and a finish like that. Almost a coconut caramel. Okay. Maybe I'm that's... with you. All the berries, raspberries, strawberries, mm -hmm. blackberries, a little bit of, of, uh, of funk and or um, sulfur, barely. Nice, hinty, hinty hint of meatiness, savoriness on this. Yeah. I get the, the hint of sulfur on the front end. Mmm, man. A little bit of red wine there. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Man, that port carrying through. Mm. That is really nice. It's a good thing you don't need any did, more whiskey. Did you do water? I didn't. <laughs> this might be a two-bottle purchaser. Yeah. yeah, this one may go two-bottle because this one's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I had definitely, uh, almost a recurring theme here, definitely exceeding expectations. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be good. I yeah. thought there would be less port influence here. There's a lot. Tons. It's good. You're right. It's the, delicious. That funk just kind of, it's it's a light touch linger of funk. Mm -hmm. It's by no means the front end of it, because I'm going to be honest with you, that Cameltown funk, I don't mind it, but it's not it, something I search out. Yeah. And, it, and I kind of in joy but then i'm like it's too forward this is subtle and in the background for that funkiness yeah we had uh smws we've had a couple of x red wine barrique is all that there is all that we know because mm, those barriques finished are huge in. right aren't those yeah. the big ones uh i'm not sure on okay. the size on a barrique so, yeah, I don't but know. x red wine and we've had a couple and they've it kind of like the saw turns has imparted a little bit of this mm. the same kind of savoriness so that hint like of sulfur, sulfur touch. funkiness and it's Boy. here. I like it. Um, Man. If you were a member of the SMWS and you've had some of those whiskeys and you like them, this is in your wheelhouse. Yep. This one right here. I mean, it's, sure. it's pretty close to those. So, Man, I just got a little bit of what I would even say would be like Tutti Frutti. <laughs> just a well, touch in the deep finish. I had a little bit of, of tropic Tutti Frutti yeah. would be tropical. I had a little bit of like that coconut caramel, a yeah, little when bit you of a said tropical. Coconut, that's when it kicked in. It was yeah. way in the back end on the finish. Ah, oh, it's almost like what I'll even get mm. from a mixed drink that has a touch of peach schnapps in it, even. It's almost like a touch of that that sweet peach on the finish. This is quite interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if you want, I'll tell you, just stop by Auburn Spirits, use your card, and pick up another bottle on your Got way. Got it. Yeah. Matt's in there. Okay. And I'll just keep that one. Got it. Mm. Since it's opened up. I like this. Um, ooh. Mm. I'm ready to support. Um, I tried water, uh, just a drop, small drop. Uh, I don't want to add any more. All right, I love what it's doing. It's moving through a lot of different like experiences, which is what I really like in any whiskey, if it's moving and transitioning and allowing me to focus my, kind of like my my centeredness on, oh, let me just focus on the, the first taste and then the middle and then that explosion. This is 91. Hmm. I like it. Let's go 92. Wow, I really yeah. like this. This is good. I think it's been a while since I've been up in the 90s. Me too. There was the whole idea that I would catch myself saying, okay, I like that in the finish. Well, hold on, yeah. let me try the front. And I would get something on that. And it was like I could like, 
I could center myself on different parts of the dram and pick up those different things. Lots of movement layers and complexity. I really like it. I'm getting like a, a double fudge sundae with like a like a mm. strawberry or a raspberry drizzle, like, you know, concentrate on it. Very mm. nice. Dark chocolates. Mm. I realize if I stop by, my shirts are a little small today. My midriff may be exposed. And um, <laughs> I want to say ninety dollars, eighty to ninety dollar range. Okay, all right. That's, that's a, uh, for for what we're scoring it is. That's a great price. You can't mm -hmm. go wrong. Uh, that that has given me so much more flavor than I anticipated. Do you want me to get a look for the receipt? Should we is find that the receipt? Forty six percent. Nope. It may vary depending on where they're at. So, but uh, boy, is that something? Try that. Just what we've described enough is reason to go out and pick this up if you see it. By the way, I just heard um, Kansas, and there's going to be other areas as well. What McAllen is has to prioritize their shipments, their deliveries, and they're cutting out forty percent of the market. So for the bottom forty percent in sales is being cut out temporarily. Kansas is one of those. So there'll be no, for, so, but uh, Auburn Spirits got in a, a, I'd say a buttload of Glendronic 12 as a replacement since they're not going to have McAllen 12. Everybody, everybody in Kansas and some other markets, mm -hmm. I don't know which ones are going to be out of, or you're going to run low on McAllen. 40% of them? So there's 22 states that aren't going to be well, getting. 40% of the market. I don't oh. know that's 40% of the states. 40%. Okay. So it could they, be just. They're cutting 40% of the market temporarily. I don't like it. I don't know if it's until uh, supply can beat demand or what. But okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh, go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up coin, shirts, hats. Help support the show. It keeps the lights on, keeps the whiskey flowing. And please, please, please go to Patreon. Check out Scotch Test Dummies there. If you really like the show, if you watch us more than Netflix, you can go there and throw on $2, $2 a month. You can just go in there to Patreon after you find us and click it. You get to set the amount, you can cap it, you can do whatever you want. Hmm. 92, I love it. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Scotch it. You, Scotch, got Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. Death head. <laughs> Punisher. Punisher. Punisher.